Hey guys, I'm Jennifer. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be telling about dull and patchy skin. How to prevent dull and patchy skin. Before knowing that, we should come to know why it is caused. It is caused due to the inappropriate skincare routine, exposure of your face to the ultraviolet sun radiation without applying a sunscreen and also because of the stressful life. So in today's video, I will be sharing you 5 tips to prevent dull and patchy skin. Using these 5 tips on a consistent use will definitely show you a long lasting results. So to know more about this, let's dive right into the video. So I've just cleansed my face using the Mama Earth Upton face wash. This is the face wash that I used, uh, you know, to clean my face right now. And uh, this contains small granules that help in mild exfoliation also. I'll put it in the cards below so you guys can check it out about this detailed review about this uh, face wash. So we'll begin with our uh, first face mask. We require baking soda, one tablespoon of baking soda, one tablespoon of honey, and one tablespoon of coconut oil or almond oil and uh, I'll mix this all of these ingredients well baking soda exfoliates dead skin cells and also neutralizes the skin's pH level it soothes the skin and also heals inflammation wherever it is present so it is a very good you know agent for your skin uh, and you can use it uh, you know uh, in your skincare regime Weekly two times this can be done not more than that two times because baking soda is an active ingredient So you can use this mask for two times and you can use it before bed or uh, you know uh, Early in the morning or whenever possible and just massage it for 10 minutes and wash it with lukewarm water not cold water lukewarm water two Tablespoon of honey one tablespoon of lemon juice and one tablespoon of sugar powder remember don't take the granules of sugar directly it might affect uh, sensitive skin so you can take sugar powder instead of granules of sugar so I'm just mixing up all of these ingredients well and uh, I'm just going to apply all over my face and I leave it for around 10 minutes because uh, lemon juice might affect sensitive skin so I always recommend to do a patch just over here and then apply all over your face if you feel any itching or that irritation immediately you can wash it off and apply ice so just mix all these ingredients well apply it all over your face and uh, if you feel uh, irritation immediately wash it off and apply ice so that you cool down your uh, irritation and red so now the third tip to look after your skin that is your dull and patchy skin is take around two tablespoon of honey just like that in your palm and I'm using the dabber honey as usual this is the honey that I like and it's really uh, good and uh, I, it is you know it has adjusted to my skin so I've taken around two tablespoon of honey and just pat it on your face don't do anything just pat it on your face I'm not doing anything I'm just dabbing it so that the honey locks up into my uh, skin and uh, it absorbs all the goodness of honey just dab it for 10 minutes just dab it don't do anything just dab it for 10 minutes and leave it up on your face for 10 minutes and then you can wash it up with lukewarm water so the next step is all you need curd and you need a tomato slice just these two ingredients dip the tomato into the curd slice tomato is a good cooling agent for your skin it helps in replenishing and rejuvenating dead skin cells do this for about 15 to 20 minutes very soft and gently and then uh, once you're done you can wash it off with cold water for this, you'll be needing rose water. I'm using the Dabur Gulabi Premium Rose Water. And then I'm using cotton. I'm tapping around uh, 3 to 4 drops of rose water into the cotton. And then I'll be massaging it all over my face. Rose water helps in skin toning, cleanses and refreshes your skin. 
you can do it all uh, you know four times morning afternoon evening and uh, night time also uh, this helps in refreshment so no need to worry and this does not cause any harmfulness to your skin beginners can do this really very well if they have a uh, dry and you know uh, dull and patchy skin so first they can start with this process and then go for the next process so these were the few tips to combat dull and patchy skin using this consistently will improve your skin texture reduce your dullness reduce your patchiness on your skin and also provide a long lasting results and this does not cause any harmful side effects because it is 100% a natural ingredient so yeah if you all like this video please don't forget to comment share and subscribe to my channel and also press the notification bell on until then see you all in the next video bye